The title of my talk is um, uh, Understanding the Neurobiological Impacts of Child Poverty, Implications for the Classroom and Beyond. And so today, um, I'm going to talk about a lot of different kinds of content and draw from a lot of different research areas. Um, the first half of the talk kind of pulls together things from developmental and clinical psychology, um, molecular and cognitive neuroscience, public health epidemiology. Um, all these kind of different fields have a kind of bearing on, I think, some of this question of the impacts of socioeconomic status. Um, the second half, um, we'll talk a lot about more about implications and applications, and hopefully you guys can kind of be a little bit didactic and kind of give me some suggestions. I think uh, part of this is I can really learn from you guys who are kind of day-to-day -day kind of working with students and in classrooms. Um, we hope to learn something by doing research, but we always hope that it can be applied. And so by learning from you guys and talking to you guys, I think that that can be really powerful. Um, but with all that said, and the kind of complex number of disciplines that this is drawing from, um, don't be shy. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to stop me and kind of clarify. Um, there's a lot of kind of things we're pulling together, so there are no dumb questions. Um, and I'll have kind of uh, markers as we go that kind of show, I think, the big themes and big summary points. 